Hey guys, this is Lieutenant Dan with Tactical Medical Solutions. We're here at the 2020 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I have the opportunity to talk to you about several of our products, and we're going to start first with our K9 Diesel. K9 Diesel is part of our Trauma FX medical mannequin simulators. We have human being simulators as well as K9, and for this show we decided to bring K9 Diesel because everybody loves the dog. These are incredibly realistic, very high fidelity. It gives us the ability to replicate a whole lot of different injuries and give the person the opportunity to practice every potential skill that they might need to do. Um, as you can notice, you see his chest rising and falling. He breathes, he bleeds, he has pulses. Um, as far as the level of realism, if you just take a look at this guy, I've lost track of the number of people that have walked by during the show that just thought this was a real dog laying up here. And we have some very, very talented people that craft these things. They're absolutely amazing artists. Um, as far as, if you want to come around this way, I'm going to show you something. So this is K9 Diesel's face, and if you look, even something as simple as the detail about the tattoo in the ear, very, very realistic. The airway, all right, looks and feels and functions like it should. It doesn't feel like a big hunk of plastic. It gives you the realistic experience when you're having to intubate. You can do surgical airways. You can do needle decompression. You can do chest tubes just like you would do with a real person. You can start IVs and actually when you insert the needle to do your IV you get a little red flash in the needle. So you're not just saying I'm pretending to do an IV. No, you're actually going through and starting an IV. Just as a neat feature, it can offer a little bit of sounds. So that gets a little distracting and that's intentional when you're trying to work on the dog. As far as the limbs go, I don't have him bleeding right now because that obviously gets real messy. But we can actually interchange the limbs and do different things. All right, all different extensive injuries. Specifically with the dogs, if you want to come here and look where my hands are right now, one of the medical issues with dogs is they have a lot of issues with their intestines, like their stomachs will flip or they'll deal with bloat, and we have the ability to replicate getting in and having to deal with evisceration, stomachs being flipped, bloat, and I know you can't see it through the camera, but this thing is actually warm to the touch and pulsating just like the actual organs. So when you get in and touch it, it's it's awesome. It really, really does a good job of replicating this. And the whole purpose of this system is to make the training as realistic as we possibly can, both with the human side of this as well as the canine side of this. Moving down here to the end, the kit that we have here is our canine handler kit. This has medical components in it that are meant for both the handler as well as the dog. The two main differences being the tourniquets. The tourniquet that is intended for a human isn't going to work effectively on the canine because we can't get the diameter of it to bite down smaller. So the tourniquet that's for the dog is actually made and functions very differently. But we can take this kit and combine it with this system and provide a canine handler a very, very realistic opportunity to practice medicine for their canine handler. So this is Canine Diesel. We're going to take a short break here and we're going to go over and check out the other products we have on the display. If you like this video and want to support us, please check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.